like to use it on my legs, on my arms, and then it makes me, it makes my black, this my black skin pop. Mandelic acid, hydroquinone, retinol, and then you're not wearing SPF. My sister, you're going to burn your skin. You're Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Oluchi here and if it's your first time stopping by, you're very welcome. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my um, favorite sunscreens. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. So for the longest, I've, I only thought that you wear sunscreen maybe while you're at the beach or you know when, while you're on holiday. I didn't know that we needed to wear sunscreen on daily basis. So I just started wearing my sunscreen um, religiously. This year, I noticed a significant difference since I have start, I started wearing my sunscreen daily because uh, my major skin concern is hyperpigmentation and I believe it's as a result of me not wearing my sunscreen and then uh, frequent exposure under the sun. I would like to say that there are two types of sunscreen. With these ones, I can't, I think most of these ones I'm going to mention, they're all mineral sunscreen or physical sunscreen because you have physical sunscreen and then you have chemical sunscreen. Chemical sunscreens, I think they're those um, sunscreens that how they work is that they absorb the UV rays into the skin and I don't know how they discharge it. Then the physical ones are the ones that just basically serve as block. So they're like sunblocks, they don't let the UV rays to an extent penetrate into the skin and we know that these UV rays are very harmful to we human beings, can be carcinogenic. These UV rays also have the um, potential to make us age faster and then it could burn our skin and then it could make us have hyperpigmentation and then you know you just basically have to protect yourself from this sun and yeah so that's why you totally need good SPF. I tried a few sunscreens and then the first one I laid my hand on is this one right here. This is the Cetaphil Pro um, Oily Skin Oil mo Absorbing Moisturizer. So this is a moisturizer and a sunscreen. Sun protecting factor of 30. So it's non-acnegenic mattifying technology to help absorb excess oil. So let me talk a little bit about this one and I, I've actually practically run out of it. So let me, oops, let me show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. And then um, let me rub it into my skin and show you how it ends up looking. So when you apply it, there's just a tiny bit of white cast, but before you can see Jack Robinson, it vanishes like the white cast goes away and that's one thing why I, what one of the reason, major reasons why I like this um, is Cetaphil sunscreen but I must say that I don't know if it's me or if you've had this experience let me know I must say that it is not oil absorbing and it's not mattifying to be honest because but come to think of it now, I use it on my hand, it feels a bit dry, maybe because my, my hand is very, very dry, but I mean, they say it's oil absorbing, but whenever I, I find out that whenever I apply this, I just become a ball of oil, like I become so oily. It actually makes me very, very oily. So I don't see how, it's not for me personally, it's not oil, it's not, doesn't absorb any oil for me, rather it makes me um, produce more oil. But I'm, I get, it might just be because, you know, I find out that sometimes some products that are supposed to cause your face to mattify, to be mattifying, it would have a counter effect. It would actually make you like more oily. So that's just the downside of this product, and that's why I won't be repurchasing it. The good, the thing about it is that it's a moisturizer, and then it's an, it's an, uh, it's a sunscreen. So just that it makes me so oily. That's the sad part of it, and it never broke me out. And yeah, and I like that it's, um, see, can you see the back of my hand? See, it's um, really absorbs into the skin and it doesn't leave that horrible white cast on the skin. I would say if you have more of oily skin, sorry, normal skin and if your skin is not so oily, I think this is a good SPF for you. It's a good um, sunscreen for you. 
But if you're oily, I don't know how it would go on your skin just because remember what I said about myself, like it makes me totally oily. So the only times I use this is maybe on the days that I won't be wearing makeup, maybe yeah, that I won't be wearing makeup, I'll throw this on and then I'll remain, my skin will glow <laughs> because of how oily makes me look. So that's about it for this one. So this is my very first SPF that I tried and I like and I would recommend it if you have oily skin. So, um, the next one I'm going to be talking about is this Healthy Defense Daily Moisturizer. It's another moisturizer with sunscreen and then it's from Neutrogena and then that's what it looks like. This one is um, this one is nice as well. This one, it didn't say it's oil, it's mattifying but it doesn't make me oily at all. I've actually, I've almost run out of this. So that is what it looks like right here. It's white as well and then when you rub it into the skin, I think I put a lot it's turn it's, it turns like uh, it has this white cast but it's can you see that this one disappears faster than the other one but the longer sort of it is that they all disappear into they all um, like um absorb into the skin and they don't leave any white cast which is what is so annoying about sunscreen so some sunscreen so this one really disappears into the skin and can you see this looks moisturizing. Can you see my hand is looks more moisturized? But like I said, that's the funny thing. This one doesn't make me get oily. It just stays right on my skin. Whereas the other one is mattifying, but it makes me so oily. Anyway, also I would highly recommend this. This is equally a moisturizer and sunscreen, but this one has SPF of 50. The other one has SPF of 30. That is my latest um addition to my sunscreen collection and then the one that i just repurchased i exhausted the first one and then i repurchased this one because i've been hearing a lot of good things about this one hello yeah the la roche rose la, sorry la roche rose um um sunscreen can you hear it it has something inside it's very liquidy it's more runny than the other ones the other ones are moisturizers this one is not moisturizer this one is just a sunscreen um 50 plus so the spf is 50 plus it said it's very high protection and then it's invisible it has it's invisible invisible fluid ultra ultra protection very water and sweat resistance that's very essential water and sweat resistance anti eye stinging i would totally agree with that one sensitive for as in sensitive skin non-perfume so it's so good you know and most things that have perfume in it tend to irritate the skin this one doesn't have perfume it's water resistant it doesn't make you tear up when it gets into your eye because trust me this other one oh i feel bad but this other one i know i've worn it a couple of times to work out and then this thing thing like the moment it got into my eye it was so uncomfortable so just um try for your spf not to get into your eye but if if you're that kind of person maybe you work out or you sweat and then you know for some reason um you get i'm um, like sometimes your product gets into your eye then i would highly recommend this one and then it's very runny it's liquidy i'm going to put it behind my hat oops can you see it's already dripping let me know i don't want to waste this so this is what can you see is runny and then when you apply it it has that white cast as well but after a little while it vanishes into the skin it disappears into the skin and it's very i just like oh my gosh thing don't i can't afford to waste you i just bought you i i think i've i used the first one i bought I don't know if it lasted for up to a month because a girl has been very religious with it. So out of all these, out of these three um, SPF sunscreens that I've me mentioned, my favorite, like the one I would highly recommend. Let me not confuse you guys. I would highly recommend this one because it's not greasy, it's water resistant, it's, it won't get, if it gets into your eye, your eye won't stink. Then it's, it's really good. Yeah, see, it's vanished, it's disappeared into the skin. It doesn't leave that white cast on the skin and then it's fun and I like the way it's shaped. So before I end this video, um, I will show you my two body 
what do you call it SPFs two SPFs that I um, sunscreen I use on my body so the first one is this one it's sun protect and it's from um, I think this is from this is a Sainsbury brand it's invisible sun spray with SPF 50 and then it's instantly absorb it's water resistant not greasy the main reason why i like to use it is that it makes my skin glow like when i when i apply when i spray it on my skin it's it's as if i use oil so instead of like oiling my skin like i mean not after moisturizing you know when you want to make your legs shine when you're wearing shorts or wearing skirt you would use i would like wear oil there's no need i just use this one because it's very oily it says non-greasy it's not greasy but it's oily you will shine 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 purple so it, i like to use it on my legs on my arms and then it makes me it makes my black this my black skin pop let me just use a bit of it and show you what it looks like so you just spray this one see it's a spray and then let me see let me use it can you see how shiny my hand is so this is how my body it just makes it just makes me glow it's just like gloss on my skin so and then they say you can use this one on the face but why would you want your face to be a ball of oil like this if you haven't got any spf and then you can lay your hand on this one you can buy this one because they say you can use it so you would like spray it on your hands first before using it you don't spray it on your face directly but i prefer this one to use it on my body and then the other one is this one this is an old one this is from garnier and then that's what it looks like yeah, so from Garnier and then it's also it also has SPF 50 and it also contains nourishing protective oil and then it has no perfume no colorants it's water resistant light texture and protects against effects of infrared so these are my two favorite body um moisturizers SPFs on the day that I know that like I'll be wearing um clothes that would show my legs or my arms or my reveal my body parts and I need to protect it from the sun because your girl doesn't want to get sunburned I use this product and then another thing thing is that in as much as you're using this SPF it doesn't mean that you should always be under the sun like try and be away from the sun if you can from the hours of like from between like 11 a.m. to about 3 p.m. because that's when the sun is at its peak like when the sun is high up there looking for who to burn <laughs> I mean on the if you can avoid the sun at that these times it'll be fine but if you can't protect yourself very well wear like clothes that would protect you from the sun wear your SPF and mind you SPF does not guarantee is does not guarantee 100 percent sun protection but it would protect you to an extent so that bread is better than one that has to be for my um sunscreen collection that i would highly recommend so you would wear all your products wash your face tone cleanse apply your medications everything and then this will be the final product that will go into your skin your make you can wear your makeup on top of all of them like you won't even know in fact whether you wear your makeup or you don't wear your makeup your skin will be popping like you won't even know you're wearing spf like you won't look ashy you won't look like you applied shelly or pop my nigerian sisters you understand what i mean by that you will not look like you have nicks of them on your face that's how some sunscreens tend to look so makeup goes very well on these sunscreens if you're not using anyone run and go and buy one don't say I didn't tell you because another thing is that if you're not wearing sunscreen and then you're doing all these treatments, you're doing treatment, you definitely need a sunscreen then if you're now using all them glycolic acid, lactic acid, mandelic acid, hydroquinone, um, which other one, retinol, retinol and then you're not wearing SPF, my sister, you're going to burn your skin, your skin is going to get worse, it's not going to get any better, you're going to ruin your skin, you're going to harm your skin and you might not see the results from these other treatments you're doing <laughs> that's the truth i'm telling you the truth go and get your spf that has to be it for today's video i hope you found it helpful if you did do let me know in the comment section below and then let me know the sunscreen you're currently using okay i have to end this video here so if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please be sure to subscribe to my channel let me know what kinds of videos you'd like to see videos you'd like to see on my channel and i'll catch you in my next one bye